Hi, we're Darius and Ocula Grant of DIY Power Couple. And to all of our subscribers, thank you for your support. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. Here you'll find DIY inspirations for your next project. In this video, you'll see how our vanity disaster transforms into our small bathroom success. We're also going to show you all the things we had to consider when doing this DIY. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, share with your family and friends, and subscribe to our channel. And remember, you, you can, can DIY, DIY too! This DIY journey started with our builder grade small bathroom renovation. Over several days, we started seeing water on the floor, and at first we thought it was coming from the toilet. So we called a leak doctor to try to find out where the water was coming from. We had no idea the series of events that was about to happen next. We didn't realize that the bottom of our vanity was completely destroyed. We discovered that water was slowly coming up through the ground and was damaging our wood floors. Once the water was shut off to the bathroom, a humidifier and fans were brought in to begin the drying process. These fans had to stay on all night long. It was so disruptive, but it was important to prevent the buildup of mold. With all this stuff going on, we were very thankful that it was yes. a supply leak and not a sewage leak. Or else it would have gotten really stinky. We felt like our house was a construction site. That's how noisy it was. They kept digging and searching for the hidden leak under our concrete slab. After all of that work, this little crack was the cause of our extensive water damage. Once the water line was repaired, the dirt refilled, and the concrete dried, it was time to clear out the bathroom. Under normal circumstances, you could follow these steps to remove a bathroom vanity. This was the original vanity to the house and we had to remove the front panels in order to get it through the door. We always appreciate our little helpers. We used a coping saw to remove part of the vanity that somehow was built behind the shut up valves. So one thing we learned um, as a homeowner about our water since we had a water leak is that this little valve here underneath the kids' bathroom sink actually controls the water outside the, the side, what is it, a spigot on the side of our house. So when we were testing the water, that wasn't coming back on and we didn't know why. And then someone from the county water department, thank you, showed us that this is what controls that. So that's a new learning for us. We're sharing it with you. These are our hot and cold to go into our vanity and this goes to outside. We cleaned, patched, and sanded the drywall. Then we used a mold killing primer. In preparing for our new vanity, we used Valspar cabinet enamel in the color of Bay Waves to add a fresh new look to our small bathroom. Since this was our very first vanity install, we learned that we had to take several measurements to ensure a good fit. We went to our local home improvement stores to see if we could find a pre-made vanity that would fit
fit under our mirror and within the dimensions of our older home. Here are some of the vanities we considered. The location of our water valves made it difficult to find a pre-made vanity that would fit. We learned there were so many vanity styles to consider. We really like this vanity and were willing to cut the back of the bottom drawer to make the valves fit, but we were disappointed to see a scratch on the sink when we brought it home. It is so hard to rebox and return a vanity. We were so happy when we found this unexpected deal at another store. Yeah, we talked on the phone and measured it to make sure this vanity was right. This vanity set also came with a mirror that we used in another room. We really like the color gray, which happens to be one of the popular vanity colors. We were working together to get this thing done, so we took another DIY picture. a keyhole handsaw and a Dremel to cut a space out for our valves. Our extra outside water valve made the cut a little tricky, but we were able to make it work. The sliding drawers behind the cabinet door is my favorite part of this vanity. We created a peel and stick luxury vinyl tile backsplash to protect the wall between the mirror and the sink. We used a different moisture control adhesive when we installed these tiles as an accent wall. We'll leave a link of that DIY project in the description below. It would have been much easier if we put the backsplash on first. This was a last minute addition. And remember, this is our first time installing a vanity after a water damage experience. We used Power Grab to replace the mosaic tiles around the mirror. You can check out the entire makeover in the link in the description. We used silicone to waterproof and seal the sink to the vanity. Thank you.
We want to encourage anyone who may experience a home disaster. We understand. This was an unexpected and unplanned DIY, but in the end, our vanity and small bathroom turned out better than before. And if you'd like to see more videos like these, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.